Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation on Zendesk Workforce Management. In this video, we will walk you through how Zendesk WFM can help you optimize staffing, streamline operations and enhance overall productivity. So, let's get started. To start, I need to forecast and understand how many people I need. Zendesk WFM does this by pulling in all Zendesk tickets, segmenting them and using pre-existing contact volume data to understand how much volume is going to happen in the future. From there, we can predict how many people are going to be necessary to handle that volume. And once we have the forecast, we can then generate the schedule. In our case, we generate the schedule automatically based on those requirements that comes from the forecast. But you can also uh, have the flexibility to adjust and adapt it according to your needs. So now that you know how many people you need already generated and it's using your schedule, to make sure everything is functioning as it should, you can access the forecast versus actual reporting page to compare the actual data for inbound volume, staffing, average handle time, and service levels. From the agent's perspective, they will be able to view their schedule right inside of Sendesk. So, as they're navigating around, they can easily pop over here in order to access their schedule and even request time off, shift trades, and pick up unassigned shifts without ever leaving the platform. Here, at the top right, we can get to see how Zendesk WFM keeps track of all the activities. It automatically tracks agents' activity, providing visibility and the information from a reporting standpoint. Agents can also clock in and out of customized tasks that occur outside Zendesk, such as lunch, breaks, meetings, trainings, and any other activity preset by managers. From the manager's perspective, this is how they will be able to see all the agents tracking information stack up. So, as you can see, this view shows a list of all the agents' activities throughout the day. Let's take Tiago here as an example. This timeline is basically showing me what Tiago did throughout the day, the tasks and the tickets he has been working on. If I expand this, you can also see the agents' schedules compared to their actual activity and to their schedule adherence. You can also see what is happening in real time in our agent status page as it shows you what people are doing at the moment they are doing and if they are in or out of endurance. So, by using these features, you gain an important level of visibility that helps you better understand workflows, areas that need extra attention, or even events that require prompt action or internal support. So now, Let's just zoom out a little bit more and just take a look at the reporting. This is getting more into the performance management side of things. It allows me to see my team's performance so I can see all of my agents. So, you can go here with Tiago. I can see he spent time on messaging, tire one, phone, tire two, and etc. But if I expand that, you can see all the individual tickets. So it's super, super detailed. You can also look at the data in different ways. You can actually say something like, I want to know tier 1 versus tier 3, how much time I'm spending on certain tasks, what's that costing me, or what's the average handle time difference between those. All this information can be answered just right here. See how easy managing your CX team can be. Start a free trial today.